Good morning, children. Today's topic is Smart Find. Lesson number three, thirteen. Smart Find. Right. This is a brainstorming activity. Brainstorming activity. So in this, you have to find the sequence and insert the missing number. Let's start. Study the sequence and insert the missing number. Look at the first number. First number, yes, it's zero. Then addition of one point five is there. Okay. In zero, if you will add one point five, you will get one point five. If in this you will again add one point five, you will get three. Again, if you will add one point five, you will get four point five. Add one point five, you will get six. Add one point five, you will get seven point five. Add one point five, you will get nine. And if you will add one point five in nine, you will get ten point five. Right? Yes. Look at the question number two. Question number two. Have you heard about opposite angles? Opposite angles. Yes. Look at this. If you will see here, it's written nineteen and it's twenty-one. Twenty-one minus two, you will get nineteen. Same way, twenty minus two, you will get eighteen. In this way also, twenty-one minus two, you will get nineteen. Like this, if you will minus. Two from twenty, you will get eighteen. So write eighteen here. Okay. Question number three. Look at this question. You have to add ten and at each number. If you will add ten with two, you will get twelve. Again, if you will add ten with twelve, you will get Twenty-two. Likewise, you have to add ten number on every result of addition. After doing addition or after adding ten, what result you will get? You have to again add the ten on that, and finally you will get the number seventy-two. Look at question number three. Oh, sorry, four. Thirteen. If you will add five in thirteen, you will get eighteen. After adding again, after adding five, you will get third twenty-three. On adding five on twenty-three, you will get twenty-eight. After adding five on twenty-eight, thirty-three. And likewise, if you will add five with forty-three, you will get forty-eight. The answer is forty-eight. Question number five, sixty-four. Look at these both two numbers. In these two numbers, there is reduction of four numbers, subtraction of number four. Right? If you will subtract four from sixty-four, you will get. Sixty. After subtracting four again from sixty, you will get fifty-six. Again, if you will subtract four from fifty-six, you will get fifty-two. Likewise, after subtracting four from forty, you will get thirty-six. Answer will be thirty-six. Look at the question number six. Five. If you will add plus five, you will get the result ten. Again, adding five, fifteen. Again, add five on fifteen, you will get twenty. Again, if you will add five on twenty, you will get twenty-five. Then again, adding five, thirty, and then thirty-five. If you will add. Five on thirty, you will get thirty-five. 
Look at question number seven. There is a addition of two point five. Look at this two point five. If you will add two point five more, you will get five. After adding two point five in five, you will get seven point five. After adding two point five in seven point five, you will get ten. Then twelve point five. Again, after adding two point five in twelve point five, you will get fifteen. If you will add two point five in fifteen, you will get seventeen point five, and then adding two point five in seventeen point five, you will get twenty. Look at this. This is the table of seven. Seven, fourteen, twenty-one. After twenty-one is twenty-eight. You will multiply. Seven ones are seven. Seven into one, seven. Seven into two, fourteen. Seven into three, twenty-one. Seven into four, twenty-eight. Thirty-five, forty-two, and then forty-nine. Seven into seven, forty-nine. Look at the question number B. Each symbol represent a separate number in this diagram. The total are given. Look at these diagrams. This is nine. Nine. If you will divide nine into three parts, each circle will have three, 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 three plus three plus three, nine. Right. After that, this one is three. And this will be one, two, three, six. Now look at this. This one is two, and this one is one, three. Triangle is of two. This is because if you will solve this question first, you will get the value of triangle first, right? Then you can find in second number. It's two, and remaining one is one. Now write the value. The value of circle is three. Triangle is of two, and rectangle is of one. Thank you.